Hi guys, and welcome back to the Great Dane channel. We got magic here. Is Finn here anywhere? Oh, Finn, you're here too. So it's a Wednesday and we're uploading, so let's see what we have for you. A little bit of variety of clips, a little bit of a trip up to Geneva on the Finger Lakes in New York. Quick, quick clips of that. But uh, mostly Great Danes, maybe a couple kittens. And uh, we're getting there on the names, so keep them coming. The next time we'll post a list of names to choose from and we'll get that poll going. So check out what we have for you. Don't want a goofy poodle with a pedigree. No Magic. whiny, wimpy little pooch, don't you see? A great big dog's the only one for me. Then I'll be doing all right. Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then I could pick him up. Now he barely fits into my pickup truck. That's what they yeah, are. But he's doing all Magic's right. Magic's got a sweater on. And it's a great... Great Danes. It has to happen sometimes, guys. So moving Connor in up here. Got up early, can't sleep, got on the bike, and just checking it all out. Uh, I thought we might rent a boat today. That's not happening when you look at these waves. So that's a nice thing. It, it answered that for us. Check it in. I appreciate my sense of adventure because I, I went down the lakefront, found a nice little beach, and then it started raining. Still pretty cool to check out the Finger Lake region of New York. Downtown Geneva. Eight o'clock on a Sunday morning. Looks like Disneyland, doesn't it? Here's Connor's apartment right there. Right over Kelly's Irish Pub. Hope you enjoyed our little tour of Geneva on the Finger Lakes in New York. Now let's get back to the Great Danes. And we're back. We're back with Finn and Magic. And they're just so happy to see me. That's how they are when they come home. It's weather kitty. Oh my God, we love it. These dogs just lay down. Stay, stay. Are you a good boy? Wag that tail. Magic wag that tail. Stay. Aw, double Dane. Double Dane tail wagging. You guys are good boys. Okay. Okay. Mmm, good boys. No, we don't want to do that. I think these cats would react well to a small cucumber placed next to them unknowingly.
Pepper, his Phantom is already up on almost the top level. Keep sending your names in. Boy, she is amazing. And this is the first time she's ever engaged with the leopard skin mice. Good morning guys, it's 5.15. I just got up, going for a bike ride. But I thought we'd see what is going on with who. Oh, Finn coming out to say hi very early. No one, we're not gonna eat at this hour. We are not gonna eat. We're just gonna stay right where we are. Go back in your house, Finn. Go back in your house, get in your house. You guys go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. We're not... No, no. We're not doing anything. Stay. Stay there. I'll rub your ears for you. I'll rub your ears for you. But we're not going to have anything. No, no, no. Go on. It's too early. It's too early. Nice morning bike ride. Good morning guys, it is uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, just out for a quick solo ride and I'm coming by this wetlands area and I want to show you, there's actually a bald eagle that hangs out here, I'll zoom in on it, I don't know that you'll see it, but pretty cool, see a bald eagle right in your backyard. It's right there above that finger, hopefully you can see it, Ah, oh, it's hard to see. Okay, trying to take a nap. What do you say, Magic? Good boy. Hi. Why don't you take a nap, too? Lie down. I bet no one gave you any food. Did you get lunch? Let me check with Annalise. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Upstairs. Good morning, Finn. Good morning. You got your croissant? <laughs> Hi, Magic. Can we eat? Let's go eat. You're all excited to eat, aren't you? Yeah, it's early. It's six, five thirty in the morning. Oh, Finn couldn't get in his house overnight, or that's where he would have been sleeping. Come on, Finn. Go in your house. Eat your breakfast, which was your dinner. Mm-hmm. There you go. I sometimes close this just so he'll stay in and eat it. He's so excited to come out and be with me. Good boy. Literally two minutes after I just got him up from the nap and I came over here to sit at my desk and Magic's back in his place and Finn's back in his place. Oh, Magic, that's bad. <laughs> you have to really teach your Great Danes good table manners. It's important. This is not good table manners. Well... He's not licking it. Magic, you don't want that. <laughs> no, give it to me. 
guess what guys that garden is producing unbelievable good job Heidi So I'm back from my bike ride and both dogs are right where we left them. It's five minutes to eight. Doors are open. Finn's sleeping. Magic says just get me some food. Stretches. Oh, they're so good at stretching. Yeah. And by the way, take a look at how little of his bed Magic takes up. It's, it's 53 inches by like 30 38 inches, so it's a pretty good size. You could absolutely, he can stretch out completely. Good boy, should we, uh, you wanna eat? All right, let's eat. Not super enthusiastic. Finn a little more, but here's Magic's food and you're not gonna eat? When are you gonna eat? You're always wanting food. Here's your food. Eight o'clock in the morning, you don't want to eat? Eat your breakfast, Finn. Eat your breakfast. Um, people ask me what I feed, so I will just tell you. I feed ProPlan, I'm an employee of the company. Adult food, never puppy food, no matter what the age. You don't need super giant large breed. This is just adult, shredded blend, chicken and rice formula, ProPlan. It's high quality, I fed all my Danes. For 30 years, pro plan, and they do fine. Oh, yeah. I don't elevate the food. You can elevate it if you want. My first two dogs, I elevated it. They both bloated. So do your research before you comment about elevating the food. These guys do fine. I, my breeders now recommend not elevating their food in water. So this is just a 50-50 decision, and I really... Um, I don't need to hear your opinions because that's what they are. My, the research at Purdue actually showed an increase in bloat in dogs with raised feeders. So you can check that study out on your own and enjoy. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed it. The boys did. Always fun to be with you on the channel with the dogs. And with that... Have a great day in the neighborhood. Why can't every dog be just as good?